in the world of sales, what is something that is counterintuitive that could happen to you and it may not make sense when it happens and why do you need to know about it? I'm Scott Silvenbell. I'm coming to you live from Kanapali, Maui on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. Check it out. Got the ocean, got outriggers, perfect day. And so here's one of the things that can happen. When you can solve somebody's problem, their issue, their pain, sometimes that person has anxiety about it because they don't know what's gonna happen after you solve it. <clears throat> so I was working with a doctor and he was like, hey Scott, you know, I had this case and somebody came in and I don't understand what happened. This person needed my services, they needed what needed to be done, but they got upset with me when I rolled the solution. I said, look, they know what everything is gonna be like today. They know what's gonna happen when they wake up in the morning. They know what's gonna happen when they have pain. They know what they're gonna rub on their, their body part that's got an injury. They know what pill they're gonna take, but sometimes, and it's not logical, sometimes when somebody sees like, I have somebody who could take care of my problem or my pain, what's life gonna be like? Can I not complain and get sympathy from people anymore? Can I not dictate what people do because of my illness or my problem, right? And so like, you know, there has been times you sat down with a buyer, you can solve their problem, you can solve their issue, you can solve their pain, but it takes away their ability to complain, to get sympathy, to get help, to cause people to do other things for them. And like, you're thinking like, why did this person not move forward? I had the best idea, I had the best way of helping them. This could be one of the reasons. They're losing their crutch. They're losing that ability to cause problems for other people and so they, their life is not gonna be the same anymore. They're not gonna get the attention. It's a form of neediness. Hands down, hands down, if you follow Oren Clough, it's, like, it's a form of neediness. It's a form of them being able to say, um, you have to walk with me, you have to help me, you have to do all this stuff. And there are some people out there that all they like to do is complain, and that is their form of being needy. Just know there are times that your product, your service, your widget, your gizmo, whatever you have to sell, you offer, does fix their pain, their problem, or their risk, but that person in the back of their head goes, what is life gonna be like once I solve all this? So you have to be able to paint that picture. And sometimes it's gonna work, and sometimes depending upon how needy that person is, it may not work. It may create so many problems for them that they're like, I don't want any part of this. I don't wanna do it. Because I lose my ability to be needy, and I lose my ticket, my golden ticket to be super needy. Cause a lot of problems, and it's probably something you've never thought of, but I've sat through enough sales presentations and I watched enough sales presentations to know that's one of the things that happens. There you go. You got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button, click on every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. It says Scott Bell Consultant sent another fantastic video, probably from a cool location. Today, today, I'm in Kanapali, Maui. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha.